Hey, we're here at a 25 minute race at Red Bull Ring. Uh, let's get this started. Uh, start not too bad, not too bad. Still holding on to second place. Ooh, got somebody on the inside of me, Shell Straight. Uh, just poking his nose there, but I'm able to keep the position. So, um, so yeah, this is one of those cool races I thought I'd like to share with you guys. It's not very often I find somebody that's like faster than me on these t on, the, on on Red Bull Ring, but I have, and it was a really cool race. So uh, coming into turn two here, he makes a little bit of a mistake, allows me to catch up to him a couple temps. Um, the Porsche definitely has the straight line speed on the Audi. You can see here I'm behind him, not really getting much of a, uh, get going to be able to overtake him, but it does allow me to stick with him so oh, kind of overshoot that corner a little bit but so does he so it allows me to stick with him and I, f and I feel that the Audi does corner slightly better than the Porsche like it, I feel like he can carry a bit more speed through these corners especially so this is gonna be a very sort of or well, this was a very tough race um, so you can see here, he's still still ahead of me, but he's not pulling away, which is good. And I need to make sure I stay in that draft of his, because that will allow me to just stay with him and wait for my opportunity. This one, a very tricky corner, a lot of understeer going in. I'll try my luck. Ah, not really, not really going to happen there. You know, I thought I'd buy a ticket, but not really having it. He um, he has to turn in quite. He has to turn in there as well because it's not one of those corners you can go in side by side with someone. This first turn, the inside uh, little apex there. There's a little bit of a lip on the on the on the on the uh, on the road, which you kind of have to ride a bit. You don't want to ride it too aggressively because it can unsettle the car, but you do have to touch it a little bit. Okay, you can see here. Oh, again, I try my luck, but. As you can see, I definitely have the braking as well. I feel like on the Porsche or the way he's braking anyway. So that's a, that's something else I can use. But now nah, that's kind of put me in a bit of a, a bit of a trouble spot. Now I've got shell straight to the right of me on the inside. I quickly try and cut him off just before the corner because I know he's going to dive in. That was a close call. See, really cool racing at the moment. Everybody's been quite respectful of each other's space. This corner, quite a weird one. You can take it, take it a few different ways. You can either do an early apex or a late one. Uh, I prefer an early apex, especially with some of these cars that do have a lot of understeer. I try to take the corner quite early. Not bad, not bad corner. That was good. Quite conservative on there. You can, I think, I could be a little bit more aggressive there, but you don't want to be too aggressive because it can get you going wide and giving you slowdowns, which will put me right out of the race. Ah, uh, Mr. Apex there, not great. So you can see here now, now that I haven't had a good exit, he is pulling away slightly. So I've got to be very careful. Got to be patient, bide my time. But as you can see, I'm slowly starting to just stay in that draft. Oh, can I go for it? Ah, overshot the corner. Shit. But now we're side by side. Ugh. Yeah. Exciting times, exciting times. What's going to happen next? He's on the inside of me. I'm fighting for room. Do I break late? I try and stay on the outside. Little bit of contact there. Not much, but it just does slightly put a little bit of uh, my tyres on the grass. Slows me down a little bit. Now Shell Straight's right behind me. Again, you make that move, you make a mistake, you put yourself in harm's way. Okay, then now I see myself pulling, uh, I can see myself just slightly getting further away from his draft. I need that draft, so now I'm panicking at this moment. I'm like, okay, look, he's pulling away, he's just, he's just outside a second from me. Very, very undecisive in those two corners there. Lost a little bit of time as well. Okay then, that was better. Like I said, the car does get a little bit unsettled on that little curb, but you you got uh, you got to uh, use the throttle to 
get yourself back on track. See now I'm just outside the second of him trying to find my way back into that draft because like I said the Porsche does have the straight line speed so now it's all oversteer there now it's just going to be one of those races where I need to get my head down focus on these laps and slowly try and chip away those temps if I'm lucky and he makes one or two mistakes he can get me right back into it guy's name ahead is a guy named Jose Luis, very fast racer. So I'll be loving, loving the chance to get back into his draft again because he's pulling away now. See, when I was in his draft it was cool, it was a, quite easy to stay with him. I wasn't really going to be making a pass on him unless it was a late breaking opportunity but I was at least able to stay with him in those long, long straights but he's slowly starting to pull away from me on each little straight. Tenth here, tenth there. That corner weren't too bad, a little bit, a little bit tentative, but sometimes you can't take every corner perfect. You just got to do what you can. You're always making adjustments. I think he made a little bit of a mistake there. Oh, first casualty. But you can see we're really similar paced. Like he's. I mean, don't get me wrong, you can see he's slightly pulling away, but at the same time, we're, we're quite similar paced. And it's, it's races that like, like this that I really love, because it's now it's, like, it's, a, it's, a, it's a battle of who makes the first mistake. He makes a mistake, I'm right, up, right on his ass again. If I make a mistake, I'm, I'm completely out of the game now, without a hoping chance to get back in his draft to make an attack. So made a few errors there, didn't really take those corners the way you'd want to, and now he's probably he's gained another tenth or two. But again, just got to stay focused. Oh, see, all these mistakes are just costing me time, costing me time, but at the same time, I'm trying my best to, to hurry, get, in, get back into his draft again, it's just, it's not easy. Especially with somebody as consistent as him, that was a much, that was a much better turn one. Ah, let's see here. Yeah, look at him. It's very annoying for me because at the same time I feel like I'm driving pretty decently, but he's still, he's still just that little bit too far away and I can feel those temps growing but at the same time I've been in his position as well when you're trying your best to shake someone off and you may be pulling a little bit but all it takes is that one little mistake and you know it and uh, and he'll be right back on you again so there's pressure coming for both both parties here shell straight behind me is um, has fallen back so just focus on Louise now. See, I didn't take that. I didn't get on the throw early enough around that corner there. Red Bull Ring's got a lot of sort of like awkward corners, but at the same time, they're very satisfying when you when you pull them off. It's one of the reasons why I like it, I like this track. Um, like this one, awkward corner, but you attack it. You got to attack it quite. You got to be aggressive, but not too aggressive, but aggressive enough that you just sort of like get on the power as soon as you come off the apex, and the car just tend to stick to the road. Uh, this first corner as well, quite awkward. You want to take it early, but if you take it too early, you hit the inside lip too hard and settle the car. You take it too late, obviously, again, you've missed your opportunity to get a really good exit. So, again, awkward corner, but again, feels really nice once I do, f once I do nail it. Probably broke a tad bit too early there. Could be a bit more aggressive. That hairpin's a lot easier to get a bit more uh, more consistent. This next corner is quite an awkward corner again. Yeah, you turn in. 
see I'm not even too sure which is faster whether you turn in early get a bit more curb or you turn in slightly later and stay away from the curb but either one can still work to your benefit but again look he's still pulling away he's slightly further than he was last lap this corner a lot of understeer on, on the entry especially with this car so you've got to turn it in slightly earlier oh god very close to a cut track there very very close see that's what I mean you'd be too aggressive on the, on, on the in the corner exit and it can really mess you up so now he's a good what one and a half one and a half seconds ahead of me at least Yeah, at the moment I'm from, I'm, I'm thinking it's not going to happen. It's, you know, he's he's too fast. The car's too fast in a straight line. He's too consistent. It's not really going to happen. But again, you never know. Just stay consistent. Anything can happen. And even though the Porsche definitely does uh, have the advantage in top speed, the the Audi's no slouch. Like it's. You know, if both both cars don't have a draft, I think it only it's only uh, its top speed is only higher by like maybe three, maybe four uh, kilometers per hour. So, yeah, you know, very 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 good advantage for the Porsche, especially when behind somebody, because it's very good for attacking. But the Audi, if in the right situations and the right. Um, and the right sort of like race can definitely be a danger. Now this is a 25 minute race, which is obviously within a, uh, obviously shorter than an hour, which means that it suits the faster straight line cars more, you know. Uh, but at the same time, if this was an hour race, and um, and the Audi does have very good fuel economy, so if it was an hour or longer and there had to be a pit stop well the Audi would definitely be in a stronger position than the, well actually it would be in a stronger position than the C7 AMG and the Bentley and maybe I can't remember there might be one other car that I've tested so far but to be honest like the Porsche I mean the Porsche has pretty much got everything it's got straight line speed it's good on braking not better than the Audi but still good it's also good on cornering and its fuel economy is actually the second best in the game that I've tested so far second to the M6 so yeah I mean this car is, uh, that car has the ability to be uh, through the car, car into that corner a bit too much there but it, it, the Porsche definitely has the ability to pretty much be the best car in the game I think I think uh, all round all round car because it can do the endurance side of it and it can also be fast enough for these short short sprint races as well to cause a danger so whereas the, obviously the RA very big danger when it comes to fuel economy endurance type races but you know up against the Porsche it's not going to cause much harm to him in these sort of endurance cars uh, endurance races and with the shorter races like this one the Porsche does in the right hands does have the ability to pull away so and the Audi is basically left to um to basically just be patient and wait for it, wait for an, for a mistake. Whereas with the Porsche, you can force the mistakes out of people. So uh, now he's still about a, just over a second, a second and a half ahead of me. But as you can see, even from the, from the point of when I lost lost his draft, we're still very closely matched in terms of in terms of race pace. It's been probably about 10 minutes now, I think almost 10 minutes since I lost his draft but we're still I can, I'm still roughly within a second second and a half of him so very tense racing <coughs> this is the sort of racing that I love it's like um, I mean don't get me wrong obviously it's really cool when you can start at the back and you're weaving in and out of cars but um, when you're racing against somebody that's similar pace to you and it's all about it's a war of attrition it's, it's like who can be the most consistent for the longest amount of time those races are 
are, are the races that I really love. It really tests um, your skills, your endurance, your concentration. He's made some mistakes, look at him. He's made a few mistakes now and I'm starting to catch him back up again. So um, I think this race is slowly starting to turn because He's, he's him. Both of us are giving it our all. He was pulling away from me about 10 minutes ago. Now it looks like I'm slowly clawing him back. And all it takes is just one mistake. Much better late break in there. Gotta love the way this Audi breaks. So, just so hard on the brakes. It's great. I've got to take all the, all the advantages that I can I can get. Yeah, just touch that inside inside curb a bit there, help the car turn a little bit. That corner you tend to need the, the, the rear to just 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 lose a bit of traction just to help it turn a little bit more. See the understeer there. But obviously now I've been driving it around quite uh, quite a bit around this track. Get on the throttle early, boom. There you go. See, when you get on the throttle early, you just find yourself getting in that position where you just make the curb on the on the right-hand side. That's when you know you've done the corner right. You know you've done it too early because then obviously you're going to shoot off. You're going to shoot off uh, off the track, and you know you've done it too late when you don't. When you get on the throttle, when you're not hugging those curbs. So yeah, it's a weird corner, but again, it's quite satisfying when you put when you pull it off. This is it. Look at look at us now. We're we well within a second now. Much tighter together. I think I'm almost within his draft now as well. I'm, in fact, I think I'm practically in it. I think I'm just in the second second mark as we speak. Late breaking. Oh, maybe just a tad too early there. Really liking this Audi car. I would probably rank it out of all the cars I've toasted so far from the new update. I'd probably rank it second. I think. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's hard, man. The AMG I really like. Um, the Bentley I still love. Dress still drives really nicely. Uh, the, AM, uh, the Audi obviously really cool. It's hard to really rank these cars to be honest. He's making loads of mistakes. I'm now there, I'm pretty much there, I'm, I'm in his draft now, boom, game's on. It's been, a, it's been a tale of, so far, the first third, nice little battle, he then pulls away. Uh, next third of the race, oh god, overshot that corner, see now I'm getting, <laughs> you know, it's like a shark when it smells blood all of a sudden, you're thinking, oh god, I'm almost there, so you start pushing a little bit harder but you don't realise that you were already pushing hard enough as you was before no need to push a bit harder because you're starting to um, um, go past the car's limits and slow yourself down so um, ok then we've got a back marker here who uh, isn't really slowing down for me come on oh god am I actually having to go the long way oh god <laughs> wow that was close ok then um, I think he probably could have slowed down a little bit more and made the corner a little bit less stressful for me, but you know, whatever. <laughs> there it is, he, he misses the apex. Yeah, this is this is pretty much my domain, the second sector. Second, second sector and most of the last sector. Yeah, it's where I have the best chance to catching him up. Completely missed the apex there. Boom, I'm there, game on. Ah, missed the apex. Still not a bad corner. This is it. So now I've got to try my best to make sure he doesn't lose me again. I'm back in that draft. Now, I've got, now it's just the mind games. He slightly misses that apex, gives me a better run than he does. Alright then. Fake to go to the inside, come on the outside. 
I've got two options here. I can either break early, try and do the cutback, or try and stay on the outside. I think the cutback's my better option, but uh, I don't think I don't think I timed it well enough, and I don't feel like I've really got the grunt to to keep to stay on that inside of him. I really need to practice that more. Actually, that'll be a really cool move to use. I've done it in the DTMs, on, uh, but not so much on the GT3s. Okay. I can see he likes to take a later apex and I like to take an earlier apex. You can see the outcome's pretty roughly the same. To be honest, maybe even slightly more in my favour. Get on the throttle perfectly. That's what I mean. Perfectly you'll end up with your right hand tyres on the red part of that kerb. If they're on the white part then you didn't get on the throw early enough. If they go on the green part or the grass, obviously you got on it way too early. Boom, there you go. Faked on the inside. I didn't realise it would leave me that much room, but take the opportunities while you can. Okay, now I found myself in the lead. With uh, how long left? About five minutes to go. Uh, missed my apex already. So now he's going to have a better... A better a better exit, you can see. Obviously, I've got to stay on the inside. Oh, he's slightly ahead of me as well, coming into that corner, but I hold the inside, make myself nice and wide. Keep him on that curb, I know it slows you a little bit. Gives me a better exit. Okay, the danger of that is so far. One of these, uh, one of the things I've realised, especially when it comes to um, like being ahead of somebody, is that like obviously number one, clearly just don't panic. Number two, keep try your best to just keep the same sort of breaking points, because what you tend to do is think, okay, I'm ahead now, I need to pull away. It's like no, no, there's no rush to like try and pull away. Like it's his job to catch you up and get past you. So you know, if anything, it's more sort of like I wouldn't say take your time, but be a bit more casual well, it, it helps to be a little bit more casual in your approach when you're ahead because like I said the onus is on him to get past you so as long as you keep to the right lines you can make it very difficult for him decent apex again unsettles the car but I keep it under control Okay, then he's far enough behind me, but again, he's gonna keep keep that draft and catch me up. Not to make a pass, but he's obviously gonna be sticking with me. See, this is the annoying thing I hate about racing as well: is that you know I'm faster when somebody's ahead of me, but the moment I'm ahead of them, it's like I just for some reason I just don't have that same focus or or like killer instinct for all these apexes and exits and everything it's like I'm just it's like the mode completely changes understeer I manage to still make it work oh touch that inside curb a little bit that is the most that is the most dangerous curb on this track if you touch that inside curb you would like if you touch it enough you will spin out there's no like that is one of those curves you avoid like the plague okay I feel like I could definitely definitely pull away. I'm starting to pull away from him here he's making a few mistakes behind me oh no all right then not bad not bad but he's there, he's still back, he's still there, not leaving me alone. Trust Louise to take it all the way to the end. Again, hold that inside. There we go. One other thing I've also learned as well is um, like a lot of people have done that cut, cut back uh, move to me there on the hairpin, so I've learned to sort of like break as late as I can but hug the inside like make them go the long way around on the outside 
because that way they don't get the cut back to be on the inside for the next corner and um, and yeah just slow down because all that will happen is he'll, he'll hit the back of you a little bit but it won't be enough to spin you out shouldn't be anyway so um, but yeah again no need to force it and there we go he tried to force himself around that corner made the mistake and left the win for me last two corners of the race there you have it people the Audi can beat the Porsche you do need a little bit of luck but you can win so um, yeah there you have it it was a uh, one of those rare public server races that actually ends up in like being a really cool tight tight race I'm sure everybody else um, like quite a lot of people tends to quit these races in the public servers but um, but yeah that was so tight like both of us are just in it all the way to the end thanks again to Louise and Shell Straight made it a really interesting race um, so yeah anyway just wanted to share it with you guys and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and I will catch you guys later